Hi everybody, Mike Pfeiffer. Uh, we're going to do a little update on the uh, ACT uh, rebuild. Uh, the reason being is I now have both loops, the loop at the uh, flood loader and the loop at the other end that will be modified later. But I have them both automated finally. Um, I had a little trouble with AR1s down here at this end. I don't know why. I have a, I suspect, and I didn't read this in the instructions till after I had tried two of them, that uh, I don't hook them up while the track is under power. So I might have damaged them. I don't know. I could not get them to work. But uh, I wound up using an, uh, a DCC Specialties On Guard AR with the auto reversing on it, and it works perfectly. And it's also solid state. So while I have an AR1 working at the other end, and it seems to be working now, I may go ahead and change that to one of the DC Specialties boards, uh, just because it's solid state as well. Um, so anyway, we're just going to do a little video of the train making a loop. It's probably going to be kind of boring, but uh, and I hope the train continues to run. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, you run it three or four times and it, everything's fine, and you run it the next time and the thing derails or stops. But let's let's take a look and see how it goes. Okay, guys, I got a big weight on the bottom of my tripod here. I'm going to try and pan around with the train, and I, I don't have a fluid um, camera mount, but uh, we'll try and keep an eye on it as it goes around. And of course it's kind of hokey, the incoming train is loaded, but you'll get the idea. Okay, you may have heard the switch flip down there at the other end, and it's on its way out. We'll try and get it here as it goes across the bridge. Now it's going along the uh, mainline yard area, past the little intermodal facility, as you guys know. And when I pan around this way, you'll see that I have a bunch of wiring hanging down and have my shop light down there. And it's a ways down there. I have a couple of questionable spots um, in this loop over here. I have a couple of number four turnouts that I don't trust very much, but we're going to try and get through them. Of course, it's now entered the other loop. This loop will change. We've got, kind of gone over those plans before. There'll be a power plant back there. I just heard the switch throw down at the other end. Now we're at those number four switches which are in question. Hopefully the train makes it through there. So far, so good. And we're coming back around, obviously, the opposite direction. Actually, the direction it started in.
and there it is entering the bridge and of course this time the switch will be thrown the other way so it will be entering the uh, loop in the other direction This is the normal direction that it would go for loading. So we could actually, if the train was empty, we could actually so, slow the train down. Fill a car. Fill a car. Fill a car. And obviously you get the idea, we don't need to run through it this slowly. But uh, once all the cars were completely full, and this is about the size of the train, maybe a couple more cars that will probably <clears throat> generally run in here. And I could also hold the train on that inside track, by the way, I think I've gone over that before. And once again, now the train's full and out we go. Anyway, guys, you get the idea. Okay, guys, not too exciting, but uh, I hope you all... Uh Kind of enjoyed that little bit of running and uh, seeing that the uh, reversing loops uh, are now automated. I can run a train on that reverse uh, loop section from loop to loop uh, and still run two mainline trains, which is kind of cool. Uh, our NMRA uh, regional group here or division group here is going to have a uh, layout tour uh, the beginning of April, the first weekend, second weekend of April. And uh, I'm hoping to have the loop automated and have a couple of trains going out here and get this room cleaned up. Uh, but anyways, uh, as always, we'll see you guys the next time.